Hey there, Tanya Van here with Tanya's Bling and I am here again with another quick video and this is one that um, is out there. There's quite a few people who have this bling bag video so I figured I would make one. Now I have my paparazzi bling bag <laughs> um, but today I'm going to show you one that I use for hostess parties. Hostess basket parties as we call them. It's actually like a bag party. So what that is is someone can take a bag that you prepare for them to work or somewhere just wherever and they can show your jewelry as like the hostess and it's just like a party in a bag. People look at it, they purchase, the hostess then gets credit just as if they were having a party. So for every 10 that sells, they get a free piece of bling. For um, just doing it, I give my hostesses another free piece of bling. Um, also, I give three free pieces of bling. Well, let me go to two. Two free pieces of bling if there's someone there or someone that books a party through my hostess. And that can be a, a basket party even. And then I give three free pieces of bling to um, the hostess if someone actually signs up to be a paparazzi consultant um, through my hostess to me. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's really cool. And it's super simple for the hostess and a great fun way to be popular because <laughs> everyone's going to be uh, flocking to you for the bling and to earn some free jewelry. So if you're not familiar with paparazzi accessories, I am an, a paparazzi accessories independent consultant and premier director about to be promoted to executive director. Yay! <laughs> um, and um, with paparazzi accessories, all of our jewelry is $5. We have a signature line now that just launched that's $25 statement pieces. But the most bulk of our jewelry is $5 jewelry. Um, it's beautiful jewelry. It's lead and nickel free. I'm wearing it. Can you believe it? This is all $5 jewelry. So this costs $5. This beautiful bracelet. It's brass with bling. This gorgeous brass necklace. Five bucks. Um, I didn't wear the matching earrings, but it has earrings that look just like this that match. They're a little like hoop or loops I guess um, but I wore these cute little dainty little earrings here five dollars my rings five dollars can you believe that five bucks don't look at this nail it just chipped <laughs> super cute and then our famous wrap bracelets which this is suede and this is five dollars gorgeous so um, my website is tanyasbling.com. Go there, get you some $5 bling. You can also sign up to be a hostess if you want to do one of these basket parties with me if you're local in the Claremont, Florida area. I got to figure out a way to do this for, for people where I can mail them something. I don't know. Um, but let me know. And also, if uh, you want to join my team, let me know. <laughs> you can do all that through my website. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this real quick, um, but for the tip on the basket parties. But first, I'm going to show you another tip, which actually I have another video about that uh, called adjusting stretchy band rings or it's something like that. Um, and I'm doing that because I just lost quite a bit of weight. I don't know if anyone notices from my uh, original videos, but I've lost about 45 to 50 pounds. Let me think. 50. I've lost 50 pounds and well over 60 inches <laughs> um, since Memorial Day. And it's now um, November. The It's like a week before Thanksgiving. Yeah. So if anyone wants to know how, message me below in the comments or send me a message and I'm happy to share the info with you. But because I have lost um, a good amount of weight, <laughs> um, my ring is now a little bit too big. So I'm just going to adjust this really quick. So all I need to do is pop off one of these bars here. And I'm going to use my, um, my I guess these are pliers. They came in my jewelry kit that we get when we sign up as a consultant with paparazzi. And so you just snap off the little, the little bead parts or balls at the end. Super simple. And then it comes off. You don't have to use these. To be honest, I had to do this in the car once and I just used my teeth and bit it off. 
<laughs> I know that's bad. All right. Um, but normally I do use these. <laughs> so I just took one off. Let's see if it fits. Yeah, now it fits much better. So it's not like twisting and turning anymore. So I'm so embarrassed by this nail. So yay. <laughs> All right. Next, let's go ahead on to the party here in a bag. So I have a bling bag. Now this one I got off of Amazon. It was like $10 or something like that. I'll put a link in the comments. But, you know, because this person is taking it to work, I didn't want to do my regular paparazzi accessories bling bag, which is like really nice and costs more than $10, that's for sure. <laughs> but this one is still really cute. So you still have the pockets. You can put your bling in there. Now this I just put together really quick because I need to take it to someone. So um, Wendy Sharpen TA has a YouTube channel called, I think it's Spread the Sparkles. And she has um, how to make these like really nice. And she talks about how you um, can hang these with brads, I think is what it's called. Um, but I didn't do all that just because I'm, I just kind of hurried up and put it together. But if you can see here, this is my business card in here. And then I've got some bling in there in each of the pockets. Um, and then inside, this is the jewelry party in the bag. So I'm going to show you. Now, I know you noticed the Quaker Oats. No, it's I'm not sending them oatmeal. <laughs> this is um, actually a very cool way that you can transport your necklaces. Now, I will cover this either with um, really cute duct tape and there's some videos on making these Deb Parkins has one I know so either I'll cover this with like some really cute duct tape or I'm going to try I don't know if it's gonna work but I'm gonna try with this one actually painting it look this is from when I painted my pegboards <laughs> um, this is the paint I used for my pegboards by the way um, oh it's I don't know if it's gonna be backwards for you guys but I love it. It makes them like really silky and satiny and shiny looking. Um, and so yeah, I got my paintbrush here. So that's what I think I'm going to try with this one. I did one with duct tape before and I didn't care for it that much. Like I didn't like how you could see the different strips of tape. Um, and it kind of was a lot of work. I'm not the most crafty person though. <laughs> <laughs> um, a girl on my team, Marilyn, uh, shout out to Marilyn. She did one and it was really cute. She used contact paper or she said, no, some other kind of paper. What is that? Scrapbook paper, scrapbook paper. I think that's what she said she used, but it was really pretty and cute. Anyway, this is what we have for now. And it's good because I wanted to show you what it was. So this is actually the, um, this is the... 20 or two pound 10 ounce oh here we go 42 ounce this is a 42 ounce size and um you're gonna put a hole in the top and that's where you're going to put your um twirl ties twirl ties which i did a video about twirl ties as well um ways to store your jewelry or something like that so the twirl ties can hold up to 20 necklaces. I think I have uh, 14 on here. And um, you can do different ones. You could put like all gold or all short, all long, all silver, and give them like a couple of them. But I'm just doing one. So I have 14 different necklaces hanging on this, um, this one. So... That is what she will get, and her pals can take this out and take the necklaces off and look at them and try them on. That just reminded me, I gotta give her a mirror. I'm gonna grab that in just a second. So that is in there, and then um, I also have in here. A binder I actually took the binder that I got when I signed up as a rep I took the stuff out put that in a different binder and this is the binder for my hostess um, and I, I gotta still do this how I really want it I don't have it set up the way I really want it yet but um, I put my business cards in there I put some extra bags in there um, to put the jewelry in these are bags that I use I got them off of um, a website I forget the name of it I'll put a link in the comments though but they're cute. They're like um, 
cellophane bags and they seal at the top and this one has like women shopping on it if you can see that see uh, silhouettes and then there's other ones like I also have this one this one has like um, you know just cute little girly stuff <laughs> And yeah, they're very helpful and handy. And I use them when I ship jewelry, when people order from me from my Facebook Live parties. So I put some extra bags in here for the people who buy stuff um, that's not already in a bag. And I'll explain that in just a second. And then I also have um, the paparazzi bags in here with uh, my business card in each one. And then I thought it would be cute. There's It says my why here for the first section. Um, I thought that would be cute to put like in here me so they'll know who I am as the rep that the hostess is having a party for like a picture and a little just super short cute probably like right off of my paparazzi website the little bio I'll probably print that and put it in here but I haven't yet <laughs> um, and then this is it says party point tracking but um I took the sheets that come in there, which are the party point tracking sheets. I don't really use these myself, um, but I crossed off the parts where it's about that, about the party point tracking. I just crossed it off. This is something that I can definitely tweak, um, but I just was kind of like, I did this at like two in the morning <laughs> just to put it together for her. Um, and then over here is information. I have her name. I have how many total pieces are in here. The total value is in here or listed here. So in this bag, I have 86 pieces of jewelry for, um, and that equals $430 value of $5 jewelry. Um, so can you imagine if she sells this whole bag? That'll be awesome. <laughs> um, and, and then it says what it kind of like itemizes it. So it says there's 14 necklaces in the oatmeal container. And then like I was just showing you this other um, cellophane bag here. This, no, not that one. Where'd I put it? What's that? This one. This cellophane bag has um, 12 rings in it. So it says 12 rings in bag. This bag here has all earrings in it. And this has, um, uh, where are the earrings? 10 earrings, 10 pairs of earrings. Um, this bag here has um, all bracelets. And it says that it has, um, uh, gosh, I can't read my own writing. It has um, 15, no, 16 bracelets. Wait, 13, 1. How does 13 and 1 equal 15? <laughs> I got to fix that. I don't know. That must, that must supposed to say 14 because I added one or two in here after I already packed it. So this has, I think, 13 or 14 um, wrap bracelets in here. And then it has like a bangle you can see right there. And I, I put that on here just to, I don't know, be a little more clear. And then there's also um, all these individual bags. So I have individual bags with a necklace. And I have a few of those, not a lot, because most of the necklaces I put on the oatmeal or in the oatmeal container, but I have some, um, some of the bigger ones, you know, like this is the, um, the um, scarf necklace. And then I have these other individual bags and I have them packaged in sets. So this is a set here. It has a necklace and a bracelet in it. Um, this set here has a necklace and a ring in it, um, and I put, I listed it on here, so it says that there are seven necklace bracelet sets in bags, five necklace ring sets in bags, one necklace bracelet ring set in a bag, and one set of four, which is a necklace, earrings, ring, and bracelet. So it says it right on there. And that's everything. So that's everything that's in this bag that is 86 pieces of jewelry. And then I have written on here her hostess rewards where she gets one free for every 10 sold and everything I just told you in the beginning. I have that written there for her so she knows. And then I just have other little bullets here, cash, or they can text or message me 
um, for me with their email address and I'll invoice them and I'll do it right then and then they can pay it right then and then she can give them the jewelry but it says that that it must the invoice must be paid prior to her giving them the jewelry but um, I thought about giving her my PayPal swiper but then I was like no because then she'd have to download my PayPal on her phone and that's not happening so we'll do it this way so I think that might be good <clears throat> um, and then I put uh, no tax on cash payments and I everybody does it different ways but for me personally if I'm selling jewelry out of a bag I don't want to have to collect change or figure all the tax out I just five dollars per piece that's how I do it um, and I put my phone number here too so she'd have it handy right there um, so that's that and then under the there's another tab here that says hostesses so I figured for this tab, <clears throat> it gives information about future hostesses here. And, oh, I took it out. Oops. I got to put that back in there. I think there's a, a, seat, uh, a sheet people can fill out if they want to be a hostess. So I think. But I'll have to double check. Because if it were, I think I would have left it in here. Um, but I'll put it in here if, it, if I don't find the one that was in our um, binder before. And then the next one says clientele. And for this one, um, I just have the sheet here where you can put people, um, your information, like for your customers. So she can have them fill this out, you know, people who look. And they just put their name, phone number, email, and any notes, like what they like or whatever. And then I can reach out to them and make sure and get them in my VIP group on Facebook and stuff like that. So that is the binder. And then I have in here, um, <coughs> excuse me, one last thing. This is a, a just a notepad. Um, I don't know if this is backwards. It says, you go, girl. <laughs> and... <coughs> Sorry, I put in here, um, just, I just wrote items sold. If she can like just write down as she sells. So like, okay, I sold a necklace and ring bag. So I'm just going to write necklace and ring bag. I probably should put the labels like necklace and ring bag, um, you know, just kind of matching what I have. And then she could just do hashtags or hash marks. But I don't know. I, I was so tired. By the time I finished this, it was like three in the morning or maybe even four. So I was just like, okay, item sold. There you go. <laughs> but, um, or if she needs like to just jot down a note or something, I don't know. I just figured pen and paper would be helpful. I got to get my paparazzi pen. I have a paparazzi pen in my other bling bag, so I need to stick it in here. So that's it. So this is her bag party or basket party for paparazzi. And I hope I get lots of sales from this and some new customers and some new hostesses and new reps. That will be awesome. Who knows? Maybe she'll want to become a rep. Sorry for all the scrunchy noises as I put that back. So let me put this in here and then I'll show you. This is the way that that looks. So that's it. Just wanted to show you that. Thank you so much, and I'm out of here. Like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. Find me on Facebook, and you can find me on my website, tanyasbling.com. Thanks for watching. Bye. God bless.